Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> In today's video, it is going to be a home update. I'm so excited. There's a bunch of things that's going down. We have a lot of okay. updates to get to. But before we get into today's video, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Finish. We are so excited to be sponsored by Finish because we use them all the time. We've been using them since we lived in Brooklyn. So it's been about a 10 year relationship with us and Finnish. So, <laughs> so you can save 5% when you subscribe and save or 15% when you subscribe and save and purchase at least five items. I mean, the savings are just raining in. Listen. That's a lot of savings. Okay, so we have three products that we wanna share with you all today. The first is this rinse aid. <laughs> are these instructions? Okay, the first thing we want to talk about is this rinse aid. It is the Finish Rinse Aid Jet Dry. You guys, gone are the days where you have to take your dishes out of the dishwasher and dry them off yourself and then put them back up in the cabinet. Yes. It is a new day, it is a brand new day with this product. All you have to do is squeeze this into your rinse compartment in your dishwasher. So we just squeeze this in there, run our cycle as normal, and then it dries our dishes. They're left looking fantastic. This is key. Squeaky dry. Yeah. You know when you pick up the dishes and you hear that <laughs> That's what you're gonna get from these products. This is called eat, eat sauce. Okay, so the next thing we wanna talk about are these finished Quantum Infinity Shine tablets. You guys, these are so good. They're gonna leave your dishes super shiny. There's nothing worse than filling up your dishwasher, mm -hmm. waiting like an hour or so before they get clean, only to take them out. And first of all, they're wet because you're not using this. <laughs> and then second of all, they're foggy and cloudy because you're not using this, okay? You need these items to make your dishes look the best of the best. Y'all heard of the red carpet? Well, the red carpet for dishes begins right here, okay? <laughs> okay, and the next thing we wanna talk about are these dishwasher cleaning tablets. They look like this. So what you do is you just put this in the bottom of your dishwasher. You run it once a week, because on the back here it says week one, week two, and week three. You can load up your dishwasher. You can have dishes in there. It's perfectly fine. And then it cleans your dishwasher. I know. As you all know, we just moved, and I wanna keep our stuff as nice and clean and neat as possible. So this is gonna be key for us. Yeah, we both do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing better than just like clean dishes, a clean space, exactly. and then you have to have your appliances clean too. So that's where these tablets come in. And I mean, how many times can I say excited? I'm, cleaning makes me excited. Clean things make me excited. So this is everything <laughs> to me. Okay, you guys, so we wanna thank Finish again for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And without further ado, if you wanna see another All Things Home video, if you want to see how we update our house, change some things, do a little something, something, then please just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so we are in dark lighting. Okay, all right, you guys, so we are about to work on my closet. My closet is getting a full on makeover. Okay, Briella's kind of not in the best of moods. I think it might be teething. I don't know. With little ones, you never really know. So, um, okay, so what we're doing now is Rob is getting all of my clothes and he's going to, it's kind of like an unspoken, well, I guess, no, it is spoken, hmm? but that's my closet in there. It's like my glam room closet. And then that's the one that we share. I actually think I told you all that. So that closet is the one we both share, but it's mainly Rob's. Like I gave him the biggest portion. What's wrong? Say bye-bye y'all. I'm not up for it right now. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is what we have going on so far. All of the clothes are out and in the closet that Rob and I share or suitcases and random stuff is out here. Um, I have to sort through that. It's mainly, that one's empty. That has shoes, random stuff that I need to look through in the rest. So this is what it's looking like. Phase two is to get all of these shelves out, which I'm gonna try to work on. Rob is with the kids. I, you know what it is? I could very easily just ask Rob to do this and he would. He would do it, he would 
come in here without any questions asked. He actually already kind of had in his mind that he was going to do it. But for me, like, I don't know what it is. Like, when I get my mind set on something, I have to get it done immediately. And I just feel like I have more control if I do it. Like, it just, I don't know, something about it just feels better for me. Like, the act of me doing it, like, relieves some type of stress. I don't know. Uh, hopefully, we don't run into any hiccups. But if we do, I'll have Rob uh, come to the rescue. Okay, so I did one off camera. I don't know if you can even really see that. It made a hole. I could very easily patch these holes up. Well, I don't know how easy it would be. But okay, am I a DIY channel now? Like really? Who do I think I am? But anyway, um, I did one off camera just so I kind of knew what I was doing. So yeah, we're about to do the rest. It's fairly easy. It's just taking this out and you guys, I'm getting so excited. See, this is why I need to do this myself. Okay, hold on. Uh, oh my God, I was talking all that talk. Now I can't get this one out. What? Oh, I got it. Anchor, it's a wall anchor. That's why. Hey, are you? Hello. Oh my gosh, don't come in here, I'm filming. Go get some clothes <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, okay. come Rob, on, Kara. Rob, listen, I'm come doing on. it. Let's get it. I'm get doing it, Rob. I'm a guy. It's not so, so just pull it? Try to pull it. You can't pull it. Ah! Oh shoot. Oh, this is not good, honey. One shelf out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm doing it. This is kind of crazy. Okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm doing it. Oh my gosh, I'm so handy. <laughs> oh, landed on my sock. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah, mama's putting in that work. Putting in work. Rob, are you proud of me? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of myself. You should be. That's I'm doing good. I didn't even ask you how to no do help, it. No help, no ask me nothing. You just yeah. figured it out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling this part is super easy. It's not hard. No. Like if I can do this, you guys. Yeah. Ladies, yes we can. We can do this. Low key, it's the only thing is it's it's kind of tall and I can't really reach it and like see what I'm doing, so I'm just letting it drop, which is dangerous. <laughs> so oh. oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay. I'm a little bit stuck. I'm a little bit stuck. Oh A little bit stuck here, but we got this. Whoa! Okay, there we go, there we go. I can just get it, there we go. Okay, she's coming, she's coming. Come on. <laughs> okay, got it. Oh my god, I did it! <laughs> you guys, I did it. I took this down. Oh, I am. Listen, I am unstoppable now. Now we just gotta get these little pegs out of here. That's easy, it's not as scary. The scary part is over. We got the shelves out, nothing fell on me. I didn't get injured, so that was my main concern. Now I'm just going to twist this to the other side, to this flat side, and get these other pieces out. Okay, it's working. It's just taking a while. Oh man, this is... Okay, these are... These are... These are difficult. Okay, you guys, I needed some backup. As you can see, I am the enlisted help. So I have some slip joint pliers here. I'm just gonna yank them out. Screw first. Super easy. Then... Anchor next. Okay, you guys, so Rob had to get out the anchors and now what he's doing is he's taking the back of this, um, what do I call this, pack system out. Basically, he is taking out the back of this pack system right here because if you look closely, excuse me, Roberto, 
if you come around this way, we have this wallpaper here that I don't like. I put wallpaper up there because it's hiding a couple imperfections, which you can see the indents right there. I tried to do like vanity lights. It was a whole hot mess. Fingers crossed. It's like a perfect fit right there where we don't have to patch up any of these holes, except these over here. We're going to have to patch up, but. Okay, you guys, so this is what it looks like with the back completely off. This is the back side. What you're seeing is the back. And you guys, we have a problem. Look. Oh, she is lean. Oh my gosh, she's leaning. I don't know if you could tell. Hold on, let me just pick a point. Look at how far it leans. I'm gonna stop doing that because I'm afraid it's gonna fall, but we need to put her up against the wall immediately. I think it's because she's just in the middle like this and that's why she's leaning. I don't know, but this is dangerous. So we might have to get some plywood and nail it to the back of this and paint it white. Oh, that, mm -mm. this is about to be a whole situation, y'all stay tuned. Look at how much this leans. Let's get in there together. Look at this. Ooh, lean with it. Like, lean with it, rock with it to the max. So we have to lean this together. Yeah. We're not gonna lift it, we're just gonna turn it. We're just gonna turn it, okay. I'm gonna push it this way. And I'll pull it this way. Yeah. Okay. Be mindful of right here, don't get a splinter. Oh. Okay? okay? I'll be pushing, all right? Okay. One, and you pull. Yeah. I think it's, I think, I like this. It's so much better use of space. Yeah, this is great. And we took the shelves out and stuff, so it looks great. Okay, you guys, so this is how it's looking once we moved this. She's still very wobbly, but you have to keep in mind, we're getting a second one to go right here. So she'll have another one to kind of lean up against. Now that I'm looking at it, we might have to even scoot this down further so that this will fit. But, I mean, we'll see when we put it together. It would be ideal if it was right up against the wall. But when I did my measurements online, it looked as though it was going to be nine inches of, like, wiggle room right here. <laughs> what? Wiggle room. Because it's wobbly. Oh. So, it's going to look good. It's coming together. I do wish this was taller. But it's fine. I can get creative and figure something out. Once all the clothes are in and I have the whole pack system organized i'll worry about up there later and maybe i'll just leave it blank and just have some negative space i don't know we'll see <laughs> all right you guys so it is later in the night the babies are asleep rob and i are about to tackle this closet some more this is a full-on transformation video can you oh. So happy. You guys, my muscles are done. Like, Briella has been very, very clingy. I think she's teething. I've been holding her, and like, my arms are just shot. So, basically, we're gonna work on this area right here. Rob, this got your name on it. Great. She's calling your name. Okay. Robert, come help me out here over <laughs> here, please. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna rearrange these shelves because. I'm gonna have my bags over here. So I'm gonna get my biggest bag and put it on, like hold it from here to here. And then that's where this first shelf is gonna hit so that my bag can go here. Three like main bags, but then also I wanna keep my perfumes. Like look at them, they look so sad right here. Like I wanna <laughs> have them up so it's like, you know, special. Yeah. Because yep. the perfume I wore on my wedding day. So. I just keep it here. It's probably like expired. I don't know if perfumes can expire, but like, I don't know. I just keep it because it's like, this This is how you know I was a young bride. Juicy Couture perfume was my wedding day perfume. Like, 
girl. <laughs> so anyway, I just keep it there. It's sentimental for me. I should probably take it out of the box, but like, I just... I understand. It is what it is. We all understand. Thank you. Thank you for not judging me. y'all hope everybody's doing all right so right behind me i have this new pack system that i've been working on and i forgot to show you guys the first couple of steps but um the wife is going to help me i appreciate the wife so much. <laughs> this thing right can, can here can you get this other piece right oh here? i'm good i got it i gotta get out the box out of the box wow wow we got a little situation over here in the box. oh no. oh my god so while he's doing that, I'm gonna update you all on the situation called PAX system. Okay, let's let's do a little, uh, let's take a little field trip, shall we? Let's take a field trip. So we're gonna go in the closet. And okay, I don't know if I showed you, like this is kind of the update, this is where we are. Right now we are building the piece that is gonna go from here to here, and then there's another piece that's gonna go from here to probably like here, because the other one is gonna stick out a little bit. So we have another one to build probably later, probably tomorrow. You're probably thinking, ill, what is that? That's disgusting. It is sawdust. And you wanna know why we have sawdust back there? We had to go, we meaning Rob, is a singular we, you know how we do around here. Rob had to go to Home Depot to get this actually cut to size. It's a piece of plywood. Oh, it's called pegboard? My yeah, bad. Okay, wood. are you okay? Nope. <laughs> you need me to hop in there and help you? Okay you guys, so while Rob is building the next one, I'm gonna work on these inserts right here. These are all for jewelry and accessories and things like that. I got a ton, clearly, as per usual. I went a little bit overboard, but it's fine. I think it's gonna fit all my jewelry, sunglasses, and then I'll have room to grow as well. So in the closet right now, I have four just sliding drawers. Let me just show you. Field trip. Okay, so these are the sliding drawers. And right now it looks like fairly, I mean, there's kind of like a start to a system. It's not completely organized, but they actually don't make these um, plastic parts anymore. So I'm gonna take this out and then put the gray pieces in because it's not going to just be sliding around in here. It'll be on the gray felt, which will keep it in place and just a little bit more uniform. So I have this one. I also have this one, which has jewelry and you can tell that I got these from Michaels and I tried to kind of create an insert of my own, but now that I have those, it's just gonna look a little bit cleaner, not a little bit, a lot of it cleaner. I still have my jewelry in these Ziploc bags from when we moved, so I'm gonna take all of that out, obviously. And then down here, I have a couple sunglasses. I got rid of a bunch of sunglasses. You'll notice that this part actually broke off, so I needed to replace that anyway. And right here, I have like random swimsuits. This is gonna go in a different place, and it's gonna just be, you know, accessories. Get you back, oh yeah. When I get you back, oh yeah. When I get you back, oh yeah. I promise you'll never. All right, guys, it's pushing 1 a.m. now. I am nearly finished with this system, so I'm just gonna slide this corner piece in here. No, this is not a voiceover, this is actually me talking. Believe me, when it comes to you and me, there's no one else. 
Okay, you guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm filming, but we could still put something on. Okay, you guys. So we <gasps> are in the dark again. We're in the closet. I don't know, Rob. What did you show last night, y'all? I was asleep. Rob was filming, and I was asleep. I was really tired when I was talking. I was like, oh, "This is my 1 a.m. voice." I was really out of it. So really? When you see the footage and edit it. You're gonna oh be like, gosh, what in the world? it's a lot for me to edit. No. Okay. No, no, no. I just well, showed them case. what this looks like. Oh, so you all already saw this. Yeah, then. minus okay. all the stuff in here. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. Don't worry yeah. about it. Okay, so it's the next day, and um, we just got our TVs installed. Like, it's on. Basically, I'm trying to say it is on. Like, we have to hurry up and do this because I'm going to keep it a buck. I need to film this, edit this, and have it sent over uh, for brand approval. <laughs> So, yeah, basically, we gotta hurry up and put this thing together and film it for you guys and do a full transformation. Okay, you guys, so we had a shelf in here up at the very top. You, you just saw that, literally. So I got one of my longer sweatshirts to kind of measure and see like what's gonna fit where basically so let me move you guys this is hard to like get you guys in here because the lighting's off but then you can't see okay okay so let's while rob's doing that why don't we get out our clothes that we are gonna put in here so we'll do the fun part come on ladies <laughs> <laughs> crazy that like all of our clothes fit in here together we really could just share a closet but like no I'm just gonna go in here I have my clothes on this side and on that side over there I'm just gonna go in and pull out like my top favorite pieces pieces that are new pieces that I'm like so excited to wear and put them over there and then that closet is gonna be like my like fire time capsule ish wardrobe in season type wardrobe and then things that I'm not gonna wear or like obviously if I don't want it I'll donate it but like things that are like summer clothes spring clothes that are not in season I'm gonna keep in here it's kind of my plan so let's do this mm -hmm. oh. Okay, you guys, are you ready for the grand reveal? The big reveal is finally time. We are finally done. There's a couple of things actually that still need to be done, but I'm gonna show you anyway because I'm excited. I gotta get this video in and I just wanna take you all along on the journey. So here we go. Okay, this is what it looks like. I am so, so happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna do like a little walkthrough of everything and show you kind of like my ideas behind some things, what I want to change because this isn't 100% done, but this is what it looks like when you first walk in. It is a huge improvement from what we had before, before when you walked in. I mean, you remember, it was just like this like white side of a closet, clothes everywhere stuff on the floor like it was just a mess and now I just feel like it's open you can walk in I feel motivated now to just get cute and get glam every morning maybe not every morning I'm literally in PJs right now but you know what I mean like it just like motivates me to want to get dressed and come in here and put together outfits so the first uh, thing that you probably notice is that there's a gap right here what I want to do is we obviously have to plug up these holes and then I'm gonna put some hooks on the end that that way, when I'm out of the shower, I come in here to get dressed, I can hang my robe right here. And then I also want to get a new ladder. This one's good. It's like a little step stool one, but I saw one on the container store that's white that would match better. And it's actually a two uh, level one. So I'll be able to really reach because I'm pretty short. So anyway, you move throughout here. I color coordinated all of my tops. These are tops. I just have them here. This is realistic for me. I know some people color coordinate and then they also have by sleeve length. I can't do that. This is just, this is maintainable. So as you can tell, like all of the tones and I still have room 
to grow, which is nice. They're not just like jam packed. I can see everything. I can move things around. And yeah, I really like that. And then when you move down, I have my jewelry. I'm not going to go through all of this, but I just wanted to show you what we're working with here. I have sweaters in here, more accessories down in here, some belts, some watches. I have room to grow, which is really nice and then more sweaters and sweatshirts. And at the bottom, currently it's just a couple belts, and again, I have room to grow. So, I like that about it. Now, moving over to this side, I have coats, uh, cardigans, jackets, and dresses, things that need to like hang down over in this side. And I have this little like wardrobe divider thing. And we actually had a little bit of a situation. I ordered the wrong size uh, drawer. What I wanna do is have a drawer right here. That's what I intended. Just like a thin one right here with a glass front like this one right here. And then I have a pull out uh, tray that can hold pants underneath of it. So I ordered the wrong sizes. So I still have to do that, but I wanted to show you anyway. That's my idea where I'm gonna keep my pants is gonna be hanging down here and then there's gonna be a drawer which I'll probably keep like my bras and underwear in but right now I just have my bag it's fine and then when you move over here we have our corner piece that connects to this one and I just have my shoes black and nude of course so I just kind of have black and nude staggered in here and then boots down below we actually added another shelf this one didn't come with this many we added another one we went to Home Depot singular we Rob went to Home Depot and he cut a piece of wood this one right here so that I could have an additional shelf for shoes this is nice again I have room to grow because I could technically I could put another shelf in there and then raise the shoes up a little bit like I can work with this so yeah really really like that and then this is the last piece it just has shoes and bags and my perfumes oh one fell oh my gosh two fell so I have my perfumes right here I really don't have that many perfumes but yeah I just have them on display on these little coasters I thought that was cuter than the tray and then I have like my bag back there what I want to do is get a purse riser and that way it'll sit up a little bit higher so you can see it then I have another purse more shoes in this drawer I just have have the basic t-shirts long sleeve short sleeve some crop some long and I tried to put it in some type of like color coordinating order but I knew I wanted black in the front workout shirts if I'm just laying around lounging and I just want to wear like a t-shirt and leggings I have my shirts right here so when I want to wake up in the morning and ride my Peloton this is where I'm gonna be and then I have leggings in here again room to grow and then underneath here is a junk drawer not a junk drawer it just has like random hair stuff flexi rods headbands kind of a little bit of a mess but I know it's all like hair related things that couldn't fit in the bathroom and then underneath here I have that sparkly tray and it is holding all of my palettes my extra palettes that can't fit in my my vanity desk drawer I just keep them here just in case I want them and want to use them which realistically I probably won't but I don't have the heart to throw them away so that's kind of what we're working with right now again I I told you I want, I'm gonna get a drawer that actually fits with a pullout tray for pants and I wanna do a mirror on this side. I already looked it up and I got the measurements and everything. I think a, a full length mirror right here would be super cute. And yeah, if I want to, I can put like storage bins up here. But what I'm really excited for is the fact that we are getting a lights in here. So the lighting is gonna be really cool because we're gonna get these lights that are gonna go up at the top right here and then above each shelf. It's gonna be lights that are gonna like shine down on like my shoes and my bags and my clothes and things like that So we ordered them that just hasn't come in the mail yet And I plan on putting the little switch because it comes with a remote control So I'll be able to like push the little switch and turn on the lights in here, which will be really really nice I was also thinking about doing a chandelier, but the only thing is this light 
is kind of far. It's like it veers to the left. It's not directly in the center. So I don't know if how I feel about a chandelier kind of being more so on this side. I mean, it could still be cute. That's always something that I could do in the future. But this is what the closet is looking like. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I will definitely keep you all posted on the drawers that we get and how I'm going to have my pants. And then I need to figure out a spot for that bag. Maybe I can like squeeze it back there. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm a happy girl. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some inspo on if you want to do a closet makeover. It is doable and it is really, really fun. It took us about maybe three days and I'm so happy we did this. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload. And we, from me and my glam closet, we'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.